Welcome back to our ticket broker system. In this video, we're going to start the runner for the class or the what we might call the user interface. Um, I'm going to pick the theme of Madison Square Gardens. What your job would be is to make a runner for a different uh, venue. It could be a theater, an opera, a football game, anything you like, that a place that sells tickets where you can Reserve a single seat or many seats. All right, so let's get started. We're going to make a runner class. So, public class runner. And then we need our main method, so public static void main string args we'll need a scanner class in order to um, get the user input so we'll say scanner reader equals new scanner and then system.in and then we'll need to go to the top and import scanner so we'll do import java.util scanner then we'll come back down here and we need to um, create an instance of some tickets so we'll say uh, walk up um, w1 is equal to new walk up and student let's see what else we have student advanced s1 is equal to new student advanced and we'll say you bought it 50 days in advance alright well that's good for now We'll need to set up the auditorium. Um, let's equal to new auditorium. And we'll set it up to be um, 15 by 15. And we'll create a variable that tells us whether we're done entering tickets or not. So we'll say string end is equal to yes. And then we can say while end equals ignore case yes or end equals ignore case y. Then we're going to print out a prompt to the user, so we'll say System.out.print ln Welcome to Madison Square Gardens. And then we'll say what kind of ticket do you want? And then we can give um, choices. So we'll say um, do something like slash n, and then say one. Enter one for walk up. Two for advanced. Three for student. for staff uh, we 
need one for volun let's do this for volunteer. Since that's one of our types of tickets. So then we need, um, let's compile and make sure this is correct. Save it. We need a semicolon. Uh, we need to get rid of these guys. This should be n dot equals. Okay. So then we need to get the user number for which type of ticket they want. So we'll say int num is equal to reader dot next int. And we need something for the quantity, so we'll say int quantity. And we're going to use a switch case to determine the types of tickets that we want to buy. So we'll say switch, pass in the number of what they want. And a switch statement is just a nicer way to set everything up if you have a lot of conditions. Um, so we'll say case one would be system.out.println. How many would you like? Qant is equal to reader dot next int and then we'll use a loop so we'll say for int x is equal to zero as long as x is less than the quantity increment up and we want to say system dot out dot print ln aud dot to string. So we're going to get a setup of the actual auditorium. Then we're going to say boolean purchased equal to false while not purchased. dot out dot print ln what row would you like to sit in int row is equal to reader dot next int system dot out dot print ln what column would you like to sit in is basically the seat number in that row. And then int col is equal to reader dot next int. Then we can say if row is less than or equal to aud dot get rows and col is less than and equal to aud dot get columns. If AUD dot get seat row minus one col minus one dot get reserved. System dot out print 
ln that seat is a already taken, already reserved. Choose another seat. Else AUD dot get seat row minus one column minus one dot seat reserved. And then we'll change purchase to true because they actually reserved that seat. This is end of inner conditional. This is end of outer conditional. This is end of while loop. End of for loop. I like to put in end comments when I have a lot of curly braces to keep track of. Let's go ahead and save this while we're at it. And then um, and then before we're done here we're gonna say in our in, the, in our outer conditional Actually, one up here we're going to say else. No. System.out.print ln invalid seat selection. Please choose. We can have an error message to the person. And then outside the loop, we want to do um, system.out print ln that will be and dollars plus quantity times get price up oh, and we called it w1 let's just go ahead and call it walk so go up here and change w1 to walk Do system dot out dot print ln. Would you like to purchase any more tickets? And then end is equal to reader dot next. And then we need break for the end of that case. So let's compile and make sure we don't have any typos. And we have curly brace mis mismatch when we um, get that. So it looks like we need one more curly brace. So this should be in class. And 
then end of main method. Did I have too many O's in Boolean? And it's looking for a method get reserved R E S E R V D. So I spelled reserved wrong. And then it's looking for seat reserved. I spelled seat reserved wrong. There we go. All right. Well, we will continue with the other cases in our switch statement in the next video. See you next time.